Hi everyone. So today we are going to be talking about everyone's favorite subject lately, price increases. Specifically, we're going to be talking about what Pilot has announced they are going to be increasing the prices on. Again, this is of course Pilot Japan. That's the market we deal in. So that is the those are the price increases that I'm referencing. I do not know what Pilot USA is doing with their pricing right now. I am going to be going over each of the products that they have announced they're increasing the prices on that we sell. Um, there are going to be some fountain pens that we don't sell that are on the list but because we don't sell them, I'm not going to be focusing on those products and we'll just focus on the ones that we have on Tokyo Pen Shop. And I'll go through them one by one and I'll just give you an idea on what the price increase is like. So these price increases will be taking effect at the beginning of October, but for our store, we've decided to give you all until October 15th. So what that means is we're going to keep the prices as they currently are through October 14th. That gives you some time. If some of these are your favorite products and you want to stock up on something before the price increase goes into effect on our shop on October 15th, you have a couple weeks to do that. So. To start with, the Color Eno Pencil. So this one is increasing significantly in percentage. So for those of you who aren't familiar with the Color Eno, this is a mechanical pencil for colored pencil lead. And it comes in, I think, eight different colors, if I have that right. And this is going up 66% in price. Now, it is originally a very like inexpensive pencil. So like dollar wise, it's not a huge jump, but percentage wise it is. So it's worth mentioning. All right, so the next product we're going to be talking about is the Acro 1000. Now, most, but not all, Acro products are going up in price. And so all of the Acro products that are going up in price, I'm going to let you know here so that you don't have to guess which ones are and aren't. So first, the Acro 1000, that is going up only 10% in price. So not bad. It's going, it amounts to an almost $2 jump in price, not quite, but it is worth mentioning. So the Acro 1000, of course, comes in many different colors. I think we have, you know, well over 10 colors. These are just a couple colors that are popular um, or that are I like. This is the pearl beige. I really like this one. And then this is a metallic teal blue that's really popular with our customers. So, yep, a 10% price increase on the Acro 1000. And then... Following kind of along with that theme, the Acro 500 is also jumping up. This one is jumping up 20%, which but it ends up being, you know, a little under a $2 price jump. So it, you know, is significant if you like this pen and wanted to get one before that jump. Definitely worth mentioning. Again, comes in lots of colors, couple different tip sizes, and the ones I'm showing here that I really like are the Soft Beige and the Soft Mint Green. 
So again, a 20% price increase that will take effect on our store on October 15th. Okay, more Acro. So this is the Acro 300. I pulled a few colors, just like the others, comes in many colors. I've got, you can tell I'm liking the beige colors lately, but this is like a milky green, a milky beige, and this one I think is called clear red. It's kind of a clear burgundy color. But the Acro 300 is jumping 25% in price. Dollar-wise, again, it's less than a $2 price increase per pen. However, you know, percentage-wise, 25% is significant. Okay, moving on to more Acro products. So the Acro two plus ones pulled a couple of colors here mostly i just want to remind everyone what these products are as i'm talking about them because you might not be familiar with all of them so the acro two plus one is jumping 12.5 percent in price increase so not a terrible whole lot, but you know, if you tend to buy this pen, worth knowing. And same thing with the Acro 3 plus 1, that one's jumping 10% in price. It ends up being, you know, about a dollar jump in price. Not quite, but you know. All right, and then the next product, we have sold the Pilot Opt for many, many years. It might have been one of the first products on our shop, like, I guess that's maybe about 16 or 17 years ago now. I've lost track. Uh, but they've they've kind of reduced the lineup of it but they're still making it because it really has a cult following and the i cannot remember a time in you know 20 years that this pen jumped in price uh, so you know it is jumping up 50 percent in price which is significant you know it's almost going to have a two dollar price increase and on a inexpensive pen that that's a significant you know price increase so i i can kind of understand why some of these that have been around a long long time and they've never jumped in price are they're just you know with inflation and everything taking the opportunity to finally you know increase the prices on these <laughs> i wouldn't be surprised if they were like if this was barely a profitable pen for them at this point. So it kind of explains, I think, the 33% price increase. Now, that is to say, if you like the Opt and you tend to buy the Opts, definitely try to grab, uh, you know, some of what we have before October 15th. The next one I want to talk about is the Birdie. So the Birdie, this tiny pen, has been really popular ever since we put it on our shop. It is also getting a significant price increase of a 50% price increase. So this is going to amount to an almost, it's like a little over $3 price increase on our store. So, you know, we don't have a lot of birdies in stock right now, but I would say before mid-October, if you wanted to try this pen or you wanted to restock or buy it as a gift, 
this would definitely be a good time to do it because it is going to get that significant price increase, unfortunately. So that's the Pilot Birdie. The next one, which also is, um, you know, feels like still a new product to me, but it's possible we've had this for <laughs> almost two years at this point. This has been a very popular pen for us, the Legno 2 plus 1. And I always forget how I'm supposed to be pronouncing that, I apologize. This one that I pulled here is the, is this the gray or the natural pen body? This is the gray pen body. I really like this pen body color. So this one, let me check my notes here. This one is jumping up 25% in price. And because it is a higher end pen that is you know, a significant price increase. What that's gonna mean for our store is that it's going to jump almost, not quite, but it's gonna jump almost $10 on our store. So again, another really good one to grab and try if you have been wanting to, because if you wait, you're gonna be paying more for the Legno 2 plus one. All right, and then finally, the board masters are basically all increasing in price. Now, just the pens themselves, it doesn't seem to be, they don't seem to be jumping prices on the refills. But I just grabbed several different kinds because the board master comes in all kinds of different variations. But this is a, an extremely popular whiteboard marker that we sell people really like it it is refillable you can also replace the tips which makes it very nice and again comes in a lot of variations so the board masters are jumping in price kind of a range depending on the one so like for example the like Boardmaster with the super thick tip, that's jumping 12% in price. So, you know, not gonna be like hugely significant, but a little bit. And then, let's see, I don't know if I have one of those, but like the fat round tips, for example, are gonna be jumping 16.6% .6 in price, so a little bit more. So it really is a range. And then all the way up to the Boardmaster Medium Round, which, you know, uh, do we have that one here? Yeah, like this one. This one is jumping 25% in price. So, you know, the range on these is all from 12% to 25% in price for the Boardmasters. It's kind of funny how it's not all the same for them, but. In any case, again, Boardmaster, a great one. If you're somebody who stocks up on those for work or school, grab them before October 15th. So there will be some other videos like this being released as the brands do this. If I recall correctly, the next brand we would be doing is Kokio toward the end of the year. As always, if you have any questions about what we've been talking about in this video, or maybe even price increases in the Japanese stationery in general, I won't necessarily know the answers, but feel free to ask and we'll do what we can to get you some answers. All right, everyone, have a wonderful rest of your day and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.